Okay, everybody. So I'd like you guys to uh, walk. We'll walk through this one, and then I'm going to press pause and have everyone do this one on your own. So what we're going to do is simply simplify uh, both sides and then solve. We always do that. We solve equations. So on the left, we have a bunch of x terms, and these are like terms, so we need to stick them together. So we got negative 4x, that's like four bad guys, and negative 2x, that's two more bad guys. So that's kind of like negative 6x. And then we go plus 3x, so negative 6 plus 3. Uh, I'm just going to write down, you don't have to, like you could do all this in your head. Negative 6 plus 3x makes negative 3x equals 24, right? Um, um, and then now we have a negative 3 times x equals 24. So x has been multiplied by negative 3, so to undo that we need to divide by... Negative 3. Negative 3, awesome, on both sides. And on the left we get positive, negative over negative positive, 3 over 3 is 1, positive 1x, one or just x. And on the right, it's a positive over negative, which makes a negative. Negative. And 24 over 3, 8, right? Eight. So <laughs> students joining in and everyone from home, please press pause, do this one yourself, and then I'll run through it real quick. You ready to go? Want me to do it? Yes. Okay, so I hope you all press pause and try it at home. I'm going to try it now. We've got 7x minus 5x plus 8x. I'm going to add like terms, then I'm going to uh, solve it. So 7x minus 5x is 2x, and 2x plus 8x gives me 10x. So I get 10x on the left equals 20. x has been multiplied by 10, so I need to divide both sides by 10 to get x on its own. And I get x equals 20 over 10, which is 2, and if I check that, 7x minus 5x plus 8x must equal 20, and see how fast we can do this, 2, 2, 2, and that is 14 minus 10 plus 16, and that is 4 plus 16, and that is 20 on the left and 20 on the right, and so that works out, okay?